Hi everybody, this is Pete, and today you're watching a quick Camera Lucida 9.1 update video. If you've been using Camera Lucida on an iPhone X or another device that doesn't have a home button, you may have noticed that some of the user interface elements were a little bit too close to the home bar down below, or sometimes, like the camera controls, would get in the way of the notch. So I've rearranged some of those buttons so that depending upon the device that you're using, they stay away from those user interface elements. That way, when you do things like use the slider down here, there's no way that you're accidentally going to hit this home bar. Those little changes make a big difference if you're using the iPhone X or an iPad that doesn't have the home buttons. There have been a few other changes that I've made as well, and I want to show you those changes. First of all, in this little control pop-up, You'll notice that there is no longer a way to record live sessions, that's live screen captures. I removed that function from the app, not to be confused with the time lapse, which is still there, because Apple has actually added those features to Control Center. And if you want to add live recording to Control Center, let me show you how that's done. It's really easy. You just bring up the Settings app, and you go down until you see Control Center right here. You select Control Center and you say Customize Controls. Here, I'll bring it a little bit closer to the camera. When you hit Customize Controls, you'll see that you can actually add, down below here, screen recording, right there. You just hit the plus button and that's it. From that point on, any time that you want to make a live screen recording of any app, whether it's Camera Lucid or not, you just bring up Control Center and there'll be a button right here. That button starts live screen recording with sound. If you want to add sound, you tap and you hold it. And then you get an option as to whether or not you want to record with your microphone on or not. It's really that simple. There's another change that I want to talk about as well. And it has to do with using as much of the camera's view as possible so that you can create larger art. Now I'm going to change my setup here a little bit. Be right back in a second. Okay, for the second half of this video, I want to show you how to maximize the size of your final drawing using the settings that are available to you in Camera Lucida 9.0. While I was setting up things, I went and I took a, a magic marker and I drew on this piece of paper where the camera can currently see. And if you look at my board, you can see those inner marks. They represent about a 12 inch by 6 inch area of drawing that is shaped the same as my actual device. That's because it's filling up what the camera view sees on the screen. But if you go into the new settings page for Camera Lucida, swipe down until you see Camera Lucida, there it is. There's a couple of settings that can actually adjust that. The first is this camera quality versus lag, and the second is the fill mode. If I change the fill mode to be fit rather than fill, and I adjust the camera quality to be photo rather than high, then I rerun the app. Watch what, watch what happens. All of a sudden, the camera... Say goodbye to my dog there for a second. Now all of a sudden, the camera isn't just seeing these inner marks, okay? It's also seeing these outer marks. And that's because now the shape of the drawing that you can make is represented by these outer marks, which represents every single thing that the camera can see. And in doing so, we add a good three inches to the size of our drawing when the camera is set at nine inches from the drawing surface. So I hope that helps you to make larger art. And if you have any questions whatsoever, be sure to email me at lucidapete at gmail.com. Thanks.